Hey, Tommy Hodges here with DigitalMediaTutorials.com. This is part four of our black and white project, showing you guys how to paint. Now, so far we've talked about the paintbrush, how to use it, but what about painting with the selection tools? Let's concentrate on that. Look at the top of the page. I want you guys to select the magnetic lasso tool. At the very top, you'll notice that you've got four little icons here. This means make a new selection, add to the selection, subtract from the selection, and intersect with the selection. You can feather your selection. The width is the detection area when you're uh, making your selection. Now with the contrast, you want to make this value low if there's not a lot of contrast between uh, what you're trying to select and what you're not trying to select. The frequency is how many points Photoshop adds automatically. So let's get started. Here we go. Got my magnetic lasso tool. I want to go ahead and uh, start selecting the edge of my sweatshirt. Now, to zoom in, I can press Command Plus to get a little bit closer. And check this out. If you press the Caps Lock button, notice what happens to my magnetic lasso tool. Change, I change the cursor. Up at the top, I can change the width of this. 50. See how much larger it is? Now, you can also press the left and right brackets on the keyboard. I'm pressing the left bracket right now to make this smaller. All right. The smaller it is, the more precise it's going to be. So if you have a very difficult area to select, like this area, okay, this is kind of hard to select. Because if you look, let me command, command minus to zoom out a bit. The contrast here, uh, it's pretty low. Okay, there's not a, it's not a very, it's very hard to tell the, where the shirt ends and the background begins. And let's get started. All right, uh, my frequency I'm going to leave at 11 um, because I'm going to be going slow, so I don't need a lot of points. Uh, my contrast, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave that low. So, start with the jacket. Start up top. Left click. Notice I'm going down the edge of my jacket. And by the way, you can add points by left clicking if you don't feel comfortable on waiting for Photoshop to add the points. If you make a mistake like this, you can press the delete key and the point will go away. You always want to end where you start. If you're lazy and you don't want to go all the way back to the beginning, you can just simply double click or press the enter key. There is my selection. Looks okay. I can go here and let's make a brand new layer. Let's call this jacket. Now let's pick a color. Over here I'm going to click on my foreground color and let's find a color. And by the way, I'm I'm I can I'm in my color libraries. You can switch between color picker and color libraries here. So um, let's go with a light blue and go to edit fill foreground color, which the foreground color is blue. Bam. Over at your layers, let's drop the opacity. That way we can see through the layer and that will reveal our sweatshirt. And let's deselect this by going to select at the top of the page, deselect. All right, that's looking great. Now, let's look at his hat for a second. I'm going to press Command Plus to zoom in. Hold down the space bar and reposition here. I want to paint his hat. Let's grab the magnetic lasso tool once again. Let's start off by making our selection around the hat. Remember, you always want to end where you start. So if you move your cursor directly over the first initial point, you'll see your icon change. And there's a tiny little circle beside the magnetic lasso tool. Do you see it? Watch it goes away. There's a little circle. That means you're on the first point. Left click once. Now you've made your selection. I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer. I'll call it hat. Let's fill this with a brown color. Go to Edit, Fill, Foreground Color, because that's your foreground color. Bam. Let's go to your hat layer, click on your hat layer, drop the opacity down. And 
and then go to select, deselect to remove your selection. Now let's tackle the stripe. I want to color the stripe on his jacket a different shade. So grab your magnetic lasso tool. Having problems trying to uh, select this. So I'm going to change the contrast. Let's bump it up a bit. Let's make it 50. And hopefully that will correct my problem. You always want to end where you started. Now I'm not really happy with this with this selection. There are some issues here. So here's what we can do. And this is really neat. Up at the top of the page you have Refine Edge. Click on it. And you can see that under Refine Edge you have lots of choices. Radius, Contrast, Smooth, Feather. Down at the bottom you have lots of different uh, ways to view your selection. This is normal. This one is on a kind of a red background with a quick mask look. This is on black, this is on white, and this is the actual mask. I think one of the things I'm going to do is try to smooth my selection. That makes it less blocky and more rounded. I'm going to smooth it just a little bit, not much. Contract and expand, if you drag it to the right, makes the selection larger. If you drag it to the left, it makes the selection smaller. I'm going to leave that alone. Contrast, on the other hand, let's switch to something we can see. If I change the contrast, that's going to change the overall um, edge of my selection. Notice if I crank the contrast all the way up, there's a defined edge here on my selection. You can really see it there. See that? If I drag the contrast down, now it's kind of softer. I want it to be soft because I don't want a really, really defined edge for that. So I'm going to make that soft. All right. Hit OK. There's my selection. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to call this new layer Stripe. And let's pick a different color. And let's go up to the top of the page. Click on Edit, Fill. Foreground color is blue, so we're going to leave it at foreground color. Hit OK. And let's drop the opacity. Apple D to deselect instead of going to the top of the page. Okay, that's all the time I have for today. Thanks for watching DigitalMediaTutorials.com. I'm Tommy Hodges. See you next time. And have fun painting those black and white images.